Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. As promised in this video we are going to be looking at all of the new modular weapons here in Stormworks. I'm going to go over all the details about them, tell you what you can use them with and also show you some examples that I've got built of all the new weapons and we're going to do a little bit of target practice here. Now of course this is a preview version that was given to us by our developers so some things might be different in the full release of the game however we're only what about a day away until the full release so i'm not too sure on how much is going to go and change but obviously just take that with a grain of salt so let's jump straight into it and let's look at all these new modular weapon pieces that we've had a look at once again if you haven't checked out my previous videos we did a preview of the game where we had a first look of all the different things going on and also we got another video on all the new handheld weapons so if you want to go and check those out i definitely recommend you go have a look at those so what do we have well we've got a bunch of new weapons now all of these are completely modular and you can build them as you want so let's start off with maybe some of the warheads and things now these here we have different types of warheads different types of bodies we even have an emp warhead okay so this is an emp warhead it takes one node in and it will go and disable any electronic systems within a certain radius so this could be quite cool i mean you could drop this over on the ai and maybe disable all their vehicles that could be really cool we also have the bombs so we've got the heads and we also have the bodies so you can build bombs obviously as big or as small as you want and we can get as small as these which are one by two so very cool for making some missiles and you can actually add these ones on because they're three by three too so that's pretty cool let's go and have a look at some of the other guns so there is two very 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 big guns i don't know i'm guessing this would obviously be used on a naval ship or you know on some very large artillery pieces so you can see over here we've got this really big artillery gun along with that we've also got the bertha cannon and then there's one more breech loaded gun which is going to be the battle cannon now i've got it loaded over here so there's three different types of cannons ranging from small to medium to large depending on what you want to build of course the most popular one and i think the one that we're going to see a lot is going to be this battle cannon now all of these guns are breech loaded meaning that you can't just add on a clip and it just goes and shoots semi-auto you physically have to load unload open the the breach and so on so with that comes a couple different systems now you can see here it all works on different types of belts we have corner belts we have got straight belts we have junction belts we've also got feeders and we've also got the actual connector belt now what are all these used for okay well, the thing is, you can, of course, go and grab a whole bunch of straight pieces, and go and connect it up to the battle cannon. It will work. However, it needs something to physically go and push it into the cannon. And that's where we have a belt feeder. OK, so if you put this on, it will literally go and push the cannon or the rounds up into the cannon. Of course, you need to have some logic to obviously open the breach, load it, close the breach and then fire. And we'll have a look at that later. I've got one of my examples that I was using it. I've already got some logic builds that I will be releasing to the workshop when the game and the DLC gets fully released. I'll release all of this guys for you. So you guys will have all of it ready for when you want to build your vehicles. Now, another cool thing with these rounds is of course, you can select the different types of ammunition you have. We've got kinetic, we've got incendiary, we've got AP. There's all different types Ammo. Another cool thing is you can actually, if you don't want to have your belt systems and you just want to manually go and load your gun every single time from maybe an ammo rack, you can do that. So for example, you can have a whole bunch of the straight pieces in your vehicle or in the compartment. You can grab it. You can see it's now on my back. Of course, I could go and pick it up in my hand if I wanted to, and then I can go and load it into the gun. Now I can only load it once the breach is open, okay? which is another cool feature, meaning you need to actually have some logic or some buttons to go and do that. You can also drop them if you want to they do look pretty cool on the ground so that's how these battle cannons and artillery guns work and you can see the size of the rounds over there and i think let's go and have a look at one of the size of this round look it's so big i can't even i can't even pick this up it's so big so yeah so those are the rounds now the next thing we're going to have a look at is going to be the auto cannons so we have some auto cannons over here and there's once again three different sizes or types we have a light auto cannon. It also has a barrel extension. And by the way, all the cannons also have extensions on them. So you can use the extensions if you want to. Now, with these cannons, we have the light auto cannon with the extension. We've also got a heavy auto cannon with an extension. And we've also got the Gatling gun. Yes, this is the one that goes. 
yeah this is the one gatling gun this is going to be really popular i think now all of these work on drum mags okay as you can see here we've got three different size drum mags that you can use and we've got a two by three a three by three and then this is a five by five if i'm correct obviously 500 rounds 200 rounds and 100 rounds depending on what size i personally would like to maybe see this increase but it's okay for now we've obviously got the different pieces corner pieces junction pieces We've also got a belt connector and a couple straight pieces and feeders. Now, probably thinking, well, why do we need all these other pieces? Why do we need a connector? Why do we need a belt driver? Well, you theoretically don't need to use them because once you connect a drum mag to auto cannon, it will physically just go and load itself. You don't actually have to have a feeder or anything like that. However, let's imagine you have a gun and you want to reload it. Let's say we spent all the ammo inside this, but in the bottom of our ship, we might have, let's say, another 10,000 rounds of this. You can use these belts and the feeders to go and connect up to it. Now, of course, most of your guns are going to be on a pivot, okay? Just like our examples over here. These are all on pivots over here. So there is no physical way for us to connect this drum over to this drum with belts because belts are physical pieces. And that's where we have the connector. If you line up two of the connector pieces together, physically go and connect two of them up together, they can go and send ammo either direction so this could be really cool for reloading on the fly or outside your ship where you don't want to go so i'm really interested to see what type of systems people are going to come up with this you know reloading from underneath your ship setting it up through a belt system reloading your gun really cool and you can do the same thing with all the big guns yeah all these large guns you can do the same thing they all have the connectors and they all have the feeder pieces with them quite nice now, along with any of these, we of course can choose different ammo types, just like we could with the cannon rounds. We can do the same thing with the drum mags. You can choose the different types here. These have got frags, these have got kinetic rounds and so on, and all of them do different things. And we'll find out about that in a few minutes once we start doing some practice shooting. Uh, two other things to mention here. We've got a rocket launcher, which has got four rounds in it. And we've also got a little machine gun with the ammo box that goes with it. Okay, once again, you can choose the different type of ammo you want in your machine gun. This is meant to be used for very light targets, as we checked out in the last weapon uh, video that we did on the handheld stuff. We had a look at this and the damage it can do. Uh, it can do damage to um, non-armored targets, which we have a few here, but it cannot do damage to any armored targets. Rocket launchers, of course, very, very useful. <laughs> so a lot of fun with the play with those too. So guys, let's go and have a look. So I've got some examples here. I think I've got five or six different examples that we're going to be playing with. Now we've got everything from the new little machine gun, which has got the gunner handle or the control handle on it. Now these control handles work exactly the same as a seat. Identical, all the same nodes, all the same controls. So I've actually hooked this one up, up to my look direction. So I can actually go and fire this gun just by looking around. Now, of course, you don't have to use your mouse aiming. You could use left, up and down or WSND on your keyboard. I like to use my mouse and that's why I've added it on now. You can use this against unarmored targets. So you can see here, we can go and shoot against that little IFE just over there, little Bradley. And it does do damage to those mic controllers that I've got on the side of it. it does definitely do damage. And we can, of course, go and reload it. I've got AP rounds in here at the moment and we can carry on shooting. Okay, so you might want to actually build some logic maybe to keep this in place. You know, I guess you could add some tilt sensors and things to keep this perfectly, you know, stabilized and level all the time. But yeah, once again, you can do some really cool things with some logic here. What else do we have? Well, we've got a couple other guns. Uh, we've got a light auto cannon. We've got a heavy auto cannon. We've got the gun, of course. Uh, we've got a battle cannon and I've got some rockets here. So we're gonna test out all these different ones. You can see I've built some very, very basic examples here. Pivot, pivot, gun, drum, and literally rinse and repeat all these. Okay, and you can see here for our battle gun, we can actually reload these as we want to. So I can grab this round and put it inside here and uh, grab another round and stick it in wherever I want to. It's completely up to you, which is really cool. So let's have a look at some of these. So let's start off with the light auto cannon, which is over here. I've got a little targeting system. Now you don't have to use a targeting system. We could just switch it over to um, mouse control. So one is mouse control. So I can now use my mouse to go and control that. Uh, it's up to you, but once again, I prefer using the seat right now. So we're gonna go back to seat control. Uh, let's go and fire on maybe the light target. So we're just gonna go and zoom in on one of the light targets over here. And let's put a couple rounds on this. So 
This is currently stabilized, so it should be quite nice and easy to fire this. And yeah, let's go up a little bit, and you can see we're, we're, we're doing damage here, aren't we? <laughs> we're definitely doing damage to that. Okay, what about uh, going and shooting over at a, you know, armored target? What rounds do we currently have in here? So we've got HE, okay, so high explosive rounds. Ooh, that looks like it's not doing any damage to... Oh no, it did, it look, it did some damage over to the armored blocks. So it definitely does go through the armored blocks there. <laughs> so much fun to play with these. Cool. And you can come up with so many cool systems using this. Let's go and check out the heavy auto cannon. So obviously a little bit more grunt to this one. Uh, less rounds, of course. This time we only get 40 rounds. We're going to go straight for the armored target here. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit uh, and try and get a nice clean shot on this one. So let's go and rotate a little bit to the left here. There we go. We can go night vision if we want to. Oh, that was a big round, wasn't it? Oof, sounds mean. And you can, of course, just hold this down and just keep on firing. You know, once you've got a stabilized gun like I do here, this thing will just put round after round after round after round into its target. Man, look at that thing. That thing's gone. Absolutely destroyed. Okay, so now we've got the big gun, which is the auto cannon, of course. Uh, let's go and test this thing out. So let's go and zoom in. What gun? Let's go and fire over on this guy. An armor target? Why not? You know this. You know your this gun is going to be mainly used against uh, anti-aircraft, for example. So you know this is going to what you're going to be using to protect your ship. Maybe you're going to connect it up to a radar system, and it's automatically going to fire on enemy planes and things. Uh, up to you, of course. And I'm going to be building so many things like that, and I'll do a couple of tutorials to show you guys. Let's put some rounds. We got what 250 rounds. Uh, I'm going to go third person to show you firstly what this looks like. <laughs> just look at the rounds going out of this thing man this thing just it's so hard it's got so much recoil on it look look how much recoil that had this thing just goes everywhere but it sprays its targets down and you can go through so many rounds <laughs> look at the rounds coming out now the gun is overheating that's something else which is pretty cool so if you put too many rounds down range your gun is going to go and overheat which is another completely new thing and really really cool i don't think anyone else has mentioned that yet um another cool thing is with these belts here is that if you don't have a round in them you will see it notifies it as black being empty and then once you do have rounds inside there then you can actually see those rounds simply by hovering over it and it's got a little light next to it as you can see my light has just gone over there so that's another way if you can tell if things are loaded or not which is pretty cool uh once again you can get the ammo boxes so simply by picking up some ammo dropping it on the ground you can see we've got some ammo boxes over here so what you would like to do with that once again up to you uh let's go and check out the battle cannon so this is a breach loaded battle cannon as you can see i've already got one loaded in the round uh let's go and zoom in on target here and let's go and maybe go for the armored target which is just over there okay so you can get a nice little aim on this once again shoot down range and that went and absolutely obliterated that target now this is unarmored of course uh, if we were to go and find an armored target here that's already pretty damaged isn't it do we have any other armored targets here not really i mean we could go and shoot at the back there i think we've got an armored target yes we do let's go and shoot that let's see what kind of damage that does okay maybe i missed that round let's go and zoom out a bit and let's see if we can get a better shot down range on that yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of drop there. So let's go a little bit higher. Once again, another round. I'm missing my targets, I guess. Yeah, I'm shooting a little bit high. Okay, so let's go down again. Do I have any more rounds left? Let's check. Yeah, I've got a few more rounds. Oh, cool. Now I've got a mix of rounds uh, loaded into this. I've got everything. I think like HE. I've got all kinds of different things. Another round down range. Yeah, that one. I don't know if that one hit. Let's do... Yeah, that one definitely hit. That one did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. And once again, I've got a, a breach loaded system, so you don't actually have to bother about manually doing this. Of course, you could if you really wanted to. Uh, you could reload these and do whatever you wanted to do. So you could see here, I could come here and physically reload all of this stuff. Um, but I've got a whole mic controller already built for you guys. I've been working on that in uh, the last couple of hours, getting all this stuff ready for you guys for release so that you can get straight into it. Uh, and then the last gun that we're going to have a look at, or 
module is going to be the missiles. So the missiles work by having four tubes or four missiles in each one of the square blocks. I think there are five or six long uh, or seven long and they're then just a one wide and I've got six of them all piled up here. So a little bit of a rack of missiles. Now when you press the trigger button it shoots one round out. Uh, so I've got a little controller here once again that only shoots one at a time. You do need to be very careful when you're shooting these. If we would shoot all of them off at once, there is a very high likely chance that uh, one missile might touch another one and will actually explode in your face. I've had that before happen. So let's go and maybe zoom in on one of these targets. Let's see if we can get a couple of missiles down range here on the soft target. Okay, so that went a little bit short as you can see. So we do need to get a little bit of elevation on that. Once again, a little bit short, let's zoom out. So once again, I'd love to see the systems that people can come up with here, especially for targeting. So that went, oh, that almost hit, so we can go a little bit higher. Try again, almost a little higher. Yeah, that one's a little bit high now. A little bit high. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Buy another one, almost on target. They're not the most accurate of things. Uh, ideally, if you want something a little bit more accurate, you should build your own missile using the new radar things. Uh, that's what I'd probably recommend. And we'll do some videos on those. But yeah, these are the missiles. And just once again, I guess could be used for anti-aircraft, you know, just firing a whole bunch of these off at targets or just, you know, generally just doing some spray shots. Maybe it's some uh, enemy AI infantry or whatever else. It needs to be moving a whole group of vehicles on the ground. You could use these missiles against that. So guys, um, <laughs> man, we've got so many cool modular weapon to play with here so many cool things now we will be doing another video where i'm going to be building some of these and i'll show you guys exactly how you can build it i can work into the logic i don't want to go into too much detail on this video i just wanted to show you all the different weapons show how they all work in terms of firing and what type of damage we can get with them but man this is so much fun and obviously this will be released in about days times so october 5th so if you're watching this after then uh hopefully you guys are enjoying the weapons if not obviously guys only got a little bit longer to wait until we get these weapons and uh yeah you know a lot of fun to play with i haven't really started building much yet i've been playing around with a lot of things but i want to get building so badly because you can build so many cool things and guys uh, we're going to be doing a um another video covering the new ai mission stuff and the new conquest game mode where you can go and capture islands and fight enemy forces i wanted to wait until last for that one because obviously we need some weapons and things to go and fight them it's really hard to fight them otherwise so if you're looking forward to that one make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you like this video hit that like button until next one we'll see you then